Hey guys and welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to show you an advanced driving technique that I use when I'm driving my car. Now today I'm going to show you the basics on how you start driving on a hill. Now it's not exactly the same method as getting started on like regular level of ground only because you've got I guess gravity going against you and the weight of the car holding you back from going forwards. So the way you get the car started once you're on an incline is you're going to have to give your car a little bit more gas and a little less clutch. This way your car builds up a little bit more power and, and the torque and everything can pull your car and bring it forward. Now I'm approaching a hill and I'm going to come to a complete stop at it. Now if you want to make sure that you don't roll back when you're doing any of this, what you can do is you can pull the e-brake all the way up before you actually start going. So when you're at a standstill with your foot on the brake, pull the clutch up, then get your car going by using the clutch and the gas, balancing them out and start going. So right now I'm at the bottom of a hill and I've got to balance the clutch and gas while I'm in first gear. So you got to give your car a little more gas and clutch and you get the car started just like that. After you get it going, just keep on driving like it's normal. Now you have to make sure that when you're going up a hill, you have to make sure that the engine can produce enough power to get your car going. You've got to give your car a little bit more gas so that when you actually get in gear, you're not going to be stalling out because at low RPMs your engine isn't making enough power. Now going down an incline is actually really easy. Just let the car in gear, let it do its thing. Now going up is going to be a little bit more difficult, but again, with a little bit more practice, just balancing out the clutch, you're going to get the hang of it and it's not that difficult. Now I'm approaching a hill right now, I'm just going to turn around and go up it instead of down it. So right now I'm on a hill and I've got my foot on the brake and the car in first gear. Now to make sure that my car isn't going to roll back when I let off the brake, like that, is I'm going to pull the e-brake, let go of the brake, and that should hold my vehicle. Now at that point, what you're going to do is you're going to balance the clutch and the gas and bring the car forward. So pull the e-brake up, balance the two, and then get going. As soon as I get my car rolling a little bit, I'm going to let go of the e-brake so instead of holding the car back, it's going to let it go and bring it forward. So again, to make sure that the car doesn't stall out, you want to let your RPMs rev up a little bit more than usual. So if you're normally driving and you rev the car up to 2,000 RPMs before you shift to your next gear, try and let it out to say maybe two and a half or three. That way you can get more power and when you put it into the next gear, your car is going to be making enough torque to keep pulling the car forward up that hill. So guys, if you follow this technique, you'll be able to master any hill. Practice does make perfect, so if you do get the car to stall every once in a while, it's not a big deal. Just get the car, put the clutch in, crank the key, and get the engine going. Again guys, if you have any questions regarding this technique, please post your questions down in the comments below, and I'd be happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.